gentlemen this is such a great pleasure for me to be here and to meet you here in Kyoto I'm the I violiner Jihye Park I can see everybody is wondering what this word means that word is invented by me I um, means like in iPhone or iPad something new creative innovative, multifunctional, entertaining, and customer-friendly. Now, the violin part, usually a person who plays the violin is called a violinist. But with that word, I wanted to express my wish to not only play on a musical instrument, but hopefully share my music and my life and my message through this instrument as a tool. Me personally, I have put in every ounce of my energy into the violin to become a successful violinist one day. In that process, I missed out on um, many things, but also gained a lot. One of the losses is that I lost my gratitude and happiness. I suffered from severe depression, and I hated the violin, which made my life so deeply distressed. This severe depression made me totally dejected and even think of death. However, I never imagined that this time of suffering could be my turning point. This time became to me an opportunity to experience how the music restored my soul in the midst of hardship. And now, I'm standing in front of you, and I'm trying to use this violin as my tool to share this amazing power with anyone who has heard to listen. And I'm desperately trying my best to remove any prejudice of where and what piece a classical violinist should play. Like the piece I just played, it was originally Vivaldi's Spring, but in one and only version in the world, from the Baroque in Rock album by Universal Music. It was a new way of combining 300-year-old Baroque classical music with the energetic sound of rock to maximize the impact of the original piece. But 
I'm still a classical violinist. Just in case you get confused after this rocking music, I'm just trying my best to fulfill the functions of what the I violina should have. Um, to the end, I'd like to dedicate a classical piece to you. It starts like a lament, full of grief and sorrow, but after reaching its darkest point, it changes to be so happy, bright, powerful, and bursting with energy. Like this music, I sincerely wish and hope that you will recognize whatever troubles and hard times you may be going through. It will be now actually open many doors to your new life. Let me introduce you, finally, one of the most famous classical pieces in the world. Here is Zigeuner Weizen by Sarah Sate. Thank you.
Thank you.